Hello then, welcome back to Sabaristan. We're currently at war with Karakonli, who have been giving a, well, favourable situation. And we are actually currently beating them. We also have three vassals, Ocasia, uh, Gazkamuk, and uh, Shervan. All of them are pretty useful. And Karakonli actually want peace here. They're going to, well, give me money, and they will see it Ardabil and pay some money. Uh, no thank you, we are going to completely and utterly annihilate you. That is at least my plan. So I'm a little bit unsure how we're going to play this, especially considering that I still have a pretty large army running around. And I'm pretty sure that I won't get there in time. No, I didn't. And as such, the, the stack was actually destroyed. Which is not beneficial. But I might also mention that I have realized, I guess. Or that I misunderstood the uh, ability here. Oh, kill missionary strength. Not if they want to come out of my provinces, I believe. So... It's not really a problem per se. It's not that my missionaries are weaker, I would presume, but I'm a little bit unsure. We'll figure that out once I actually try to convert something. But uh, for the time being, we will destroy both their armies again. That is at least if the army here joins me, which it does not. So we're going to just pull back then. But yeah, we destroyed the 5,000 man army and I think that is basically a, a win in my book. And if we can get there in time, then we will most likely at least defeat this one. We will, of course, lose the battle, or lose the battle manpower-wise, but we will at least win uh, win the duel, if you will. Now, again, I'm a little bit unsure what I'll actually go for in terms of a peace deal, but I think I'll just go for the area, and then we'll see how uh, how things play out in terms of, well, Persia breaking free, etc. Ardlan nationalists could break free something here. It's a it's an interesting scenario currently, so... Now what the what on drunk earth are you guys doing? Have I set this as a war goal or something? No objective. I think you Shermans need to learn not to do such silly things. So this is one of the things that I hate about the new system. Apparently the AI does really, really, really retarded things out of the blue. Like deciding to run down here and siege a province that is as far away from anything sensible as possible and then get their ass kicked and in my case yeah, that might actually lead to defeat in this war which is of course a really bad thing let's just be honest uh, if I lose this war then it's basically game over for the for the series but we did win the battle which is luckily enough uh, Shervin has responsibility for this one Gaskamuk will take that one, and Circassia will take that one. So now they should have some sort of, well, uh, direction, if you will, on what they're supposed to do. Now, currently I will actually accept a pretty hefty deal. Now, the big question is, do I want to eat enough here to make me... Let's face it, this, these are four provinces, and as you can see, nobody really cares except Karakonlu. So what I think I might go for is taking a huge amount of land and just court it myself. Uh, of course, nothing that will give me a board with the Ottomans, that's just too risky. So I think I'm going to take probably down here to Sharazor, potentially. But again, not anything that gives me a board with the Ottomans. Uh, if the Ottomans end up attacking me, then I'm probably going to get crushed. And there we go, the Ottomans actually did give me subsidies, which is, uh, of course, really, really useful. It's tremendously useful. I get extra money, no payment. And they are still trying to create armies here, so I'm going to change the target of uh, Circassia to this one, because we don't really want Van. It's a little bit too close to the Ottomans for my comfort, and it will make the borders look weird. But I'll keep on doing what I have been doing. If there's no really big or interesting battles, I'll probably not show them. But uh, I'll keep on hunting their smaller armies, I'll keep on just beating on them. And hopefully, it will be uh, it will be well rewarded with a with a war victory here. We'll see how it plays out. Interestingly enough, uh, Georgia also declared war on Karakonlu, which is kind of helpful. They're bringing some extra troops, and Georgia, as a nation, is not really strong compared to us. We can most likely defeat them with uh, well with not much work. I did hunt down the uh, the Karakonlu army. It's basically nothing anymore. And with that, we're just going to siege here. I'm going to go basically very close up to a hundred, a hundred on the uh, 
on the wall, ex uh, sorry, over extension line. And unfortunately here I'm also really really losing losing out now to well st stability for one, uh, war exhaustion is second, and also my manpower is gone. So I think I'm just going to aim at sieging uh, probably these four provinces here, along with this one up here, and then we're going to make peace. I can leave the rest of Georgia, they'll probably take some provinces, I can probably nab them from them before they manage to convert them. And that is basically my reasoning. Hopefully my allies can do most of the sieging so I can replenish manpower. So I'm probably going to pull my forces back to Tabriz. And I'm basically just going to keep them as a, well, backup army. Hunt down enemies army. Potentially just create a uh, poor 5,000 men mercenary army here that I can use for hunting down the enemy. While my manpower replenishes a little bit. So that's the plan. We'll see how it works out. Funnily enough, if we can actually do an upgrade to our military attack in this war, to level 5 standardized pikes, and with that we get a combat with increased by 2, infantry shock by 0 0.15, and we can now use Muslim dual infantry. Unfortunately, the Timurids have also desired to turn hostile during this time, which is not good, because they're allied with the Ottomans. And th that alliance with the Ottomans is definitely going to be a real scary thing, no matter how we look at it. Uh, of course, also the Ottomans will not be interested in an alliance with me. And as such, a war against the Timurids here seems all but inevitable. I'm a little bit unsure how I want to try and, and combat this. Uh, but for the time being, we can just cancel the military axis. We don't really have any use for that if the Timurids decide to, well, crush me, so to speak. But I think we're going to take what you basically see as the sieged area right here. I think that will be enough during this war. So I'm about to make peace and the Timurids will most likely start a coalition against me because the let's say the aggressive expansion from taking such an area will be rather high. It's thirty seven. Wait a minute. It's twenty four there and thirty seven there. I think we're just going to go with this. Basically the increase in aggressive expansion is just going to be too high. It's going to definitely create a a well something that we do not like and of course I'm going to be using this to well this is amazing I can actually force them to release Persia then I can annex Persia or well, peacefully vassalize them let's go with that Trebizond you're no longer going to be released uh, we're going to go with the release of Persia instead not that Persia, tiny Persia. We want a big Persia. We want a really tiny one. The rest is going to me. And I think I'm probably going to hand Persia their provinces as soon as if they accept the vassalization, which I'm pretty sure they will. Unfortunately, we'll have to wait a little bit because I do not have diplomatic power at the current moment to go through with the deal. So we're going to wait a little while and then we're going to, to make the deal. But unfortunately, uh, the aggressive expansion is going. No, sorry, the. Uh, the overextension here is going pretty high pretty fast and we don't have any we don't really have anything to, to counter this so for the time being I'll just save some money and hopefully get a Diplo guy and work pretty quickly here so I can speed things along I need 63 and of course the economy is going to hell as well you fools but yeah that is that's really that's the game for you Anyways, I am going to hire a guy in a month or two, or do I really want to? In two months, three months, I'll have what's needed. And I got a new Sultan, and a tremendously bad air, 250. Tremendously bad. Hilariously bad, if you will. But at least I can upgrade my soldiers to Muslim dual infantry. But yeah, we are going to wait. Uh, We're going to wait three more months here, due to the fact that my guy is terrible. And he died at a terrible time, because I do need those points. Is there anything in this deal that is horrible that I do not need? Suddenly it's 314. Yeah, because Persia tries to get things that they are not supposed to get. And boom. 4 of 4. So two more months and then we make peace. And of course the... Ottomans had cancelled the subsidies. Well, I guess that is fair. I had a very kind of, uh, well, 
run out of my use here. We go Persia, two provinces. And everything else here is as it should be. Why is that thing saying that I get less provinces if I release Persia? In theory here, I should get these provinces and Persia should just be released with this. Let's test it. If Persia is released as a full state, I'm going to kill something. Wow, this is an interesting one. Can I... No, I do actually have a truce. Prolation. I can introduce a Giz, yeah, I will. Uh, I can try to convert something, but it's kind of lengthy. And in this case, we might as well go for Karakonlu and Crimea, I guess. Don't really want to piss anyone else. I don't really need to piss off, piss off. And we have some Iraqi nationalists here, which is actually quite beneficial for us, again. Persia, on the other hand, I have no idea why they want to destroy me. Probably because I hold some provinces that I want. Which means that I will have to take them by force in five years' time. Now the big question is, should I core these provinces, or should I wait five years and potentially lose them to other things? That's the big, that's actually the big question here. Should I just core everything, or should I be careful and wait? I think we are not careful and wait. We core everything while we can. And I will vassalize Persia in the future. So we'll stop the relation improvement, we'll just go for fabricating claims, I have my castle spelling. And I think we're also going to go for... A little bit unsure if I want to go for straight world war with uh, Georgia right away. I don't think I want to, because first and foremost, these guys are going to go up pretty rapidly, 2.2 years. So I need to I need to reduce my war exhaustion, I need to fix the national unrest, basically. And to do that, I think I might have to go for a boost here in stability, sacrifice some more admin points. Just to slow these guys down a little bit. So, it's not a very good position to be in right now. I will probably get a rebuild, that is the worst part. And there's not really too much I can do about that at the current moment. We'll just have to wait and court stuff. And we can, of course, move our armies to try and, well, slow it a little bit down. But let's face it, by giving us two years, we should also be perfectly capable of... Uh, of lowering the uh, war exhaustion here to a point where it's not a not a big issue. That's at least a hope here. 2.3 years now. And of course we also have another thing we can do. We can just reduce the... We're going to increase the autonomy in all places here just to reduce the uh, unrest. It's the best thing to do right now. And of course the autonomy will slowly but surely go down as long as we're at peace. I was scared there for a second. I thought the Ottomans declared war on me, which might actually do end up happening here. But yeah, for the time being, I'll wait with wait for the cause. I have no idea why Urmia is going so damn quickly, but it is, which of course is really beneficial. It's useful. It's helpful. But as you see here now, by what I just did, may the Patriots uh, be slowed down by four years' time. But of course, I didn't need to do that in all provinces. But it's better for. Uh, it's a safety. It's a safety measure, more or less. It mostly, mostly just because it's beneficial. Now I have one question: Can I still form Persia with Persia as existing? No, I can't. So I'll have to annex them in the future. But for now, time being, we'll improve relations with uh, with these two. And I, I'm a little bit unsure if I actually want to annex them or if I just want to go for annexing Circassia and potentially, of course, getting my uh, getting my uh, Casus Belli on, uh, uh, or basically annex this occasion instead. But the problem is, of course, the fact that they are, they have the wrong religion. So I'm thinking that I, what I will do here is actually annex these two, as I'm planning, keep Circassia and Georgia as more or less, I think, a, uh, a march, basically, a vassal that is made for battle that cannot be annexed. That could definitely be useful. Unfortunately, none of them have uh, marshy terrain for the achievement. But I think I'll find a lot of that in Europe if we ever get there. Or Asia too, for that matter. So, for the time being, we'll start the annexation process. Which uh, we actually can start. And, uh, well, 
it's probably not one of my wisest ideas, but it's what I've decided to do. Reason for this is kind of nope, nope, no, 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 no. How much have I invested? Diplomatic power. We'll cancel that for now. I do not have diplomatic power to complete that, and I want to get rid of my war exhaustion first to make sure that we don't get a rebels uprising here. But anyways, we'll continue next time. We have gotten ourselves a pretty good start here. We have uh, three vassals. We have beaten Karakonlu in the first war. Timurids are still stable. They have an alliance with the Ottomans. Kind of scary. All in all, we're not in a really, really good position here. I definitely need, uh, I definitely need to get an ally that I can trust. Ottomans here would be great. But again, they uh, no, that's not what I want to do. They do not uh, trust me enough. We do not have strong enough army. We do not have strong enough navy. And of course, the fact that we're not the same religion is kind of bad. I might consider conquering some Sunni provinces from Golden Horde and Nogai in an effort to uh, well turn Sunni. But uh, we'll have to wait and see what we actually do here. Conversion times aren't too bad. It's more the alliance aspect and also the fact that I can most likely. Win a war against the Emirates, I will definitely not be able to win a war against the Ottomans. Together, never. So, uh, I'll have to consider that in the future. But yeah, this is the end of this episode, we'll continue next time. Feel free to leave a comment, phrase, criticism, anything you feel like, and hopefully, I'll see you around next time. Bye.